So I do, I do shows at colleges sometimes, and when I do a college show, I do an interview with the school paper, and the result could be a horrible article. So I want to share with y'all this article from a gig I did at Eastern Illinois University in Charleston, Illinois. This is all real and in print. A human being wrote this. <laughs> And then they sent it to a higher ranking human being, an editor, and that person said, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Quick-witted Burr is set for laughs. Comedian helps bring diversity to campus. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm responsible for bringing diversity to your campus? Because you realize the type of diversity I bring is very temporary because I'm leaving as soon as I get my check. This town sucks. I actually paid me before the show. It was a phone interview, and sometimes when I do phone interviews and a journalist is boring, I just start saying crazy stuff to make it fun for me and make the most out of my time. And she said, what do you talk about in your comedy? I said, I talk about the straights. And she put that in the paper, for real? His performances include comedic jokes related... Wait, 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 comedic jokes? <laughs> As opposed to all the other types of jokes that are out there? <laughs> Am I missing out on a genre of jokes? I hate for that to be the reason I don't make it big. Yeah, Hannibal Burris could have been huge, but he focused all his energy on comedic jokes <laughs> when there were so many other types of jokes out there. He really pigeonholed himself. And I'm some bitter old man comedian. Yeah, these young comedians, they focus on all types of jokes. Esoteric jokes and jokes about hats. We were purists. We only did comedic jokes, these young dudes, man. His performances include comedic jokes related to personal stories, current events, the streets. <laughs> you know what? I take the blame for that. I said that on the record. I take the blame. His performance is comedic jokes related to personal stories, current events, the streets, and even food, he said. <laughs> what? Even food? Who else is talking about food in the comedy game right now? <laughs> Nobody, just Hannibal Burris, that's all. He has cornered that subject matter. He is the Lenny Bruce of grocery store humor. He is so edgy. You should have saw when he was in Dallas, Texas, half the crowd walked out when he did his new bit about lettuce. It was crazy. <laughs> He was too edgy for that town. <laughs> Matt Caponera, the university comedy coordinator, said Burris was picked because he stood out more than other choices. He stands out like an exclamation point, Caponera said. I don't know if that's weird or borderline racist. Let's go with weird. <laughs> it's easy to go with. Let's go with weird. Because I think it's weird to compare people to punctuation. Nah, I think he's more like a semicolon comedian, very semicolon-like in delivery and how he paces. I don't even know how to use a semicolon to this day. <laughs> I use a comma every time. And you know what? If I email somebody and they get upset about me using a comma instead of a semicolon, that's not a person I want to work with anyway. <laughs> and that's how you weed people out of your life. <laughs> Burris was the most popular comedian in Caponera's price range of $2,000. <laughs> It was a couple years ago. Two things about that. <laughs> One, you goddamn right I was. Hell yeah. I was ruling that price range in the Midwest two years ago. <laughs> two, how tacky is that? Did she go to her editor? Hey, I want to make this article more tacky. You have any ideas? Well, maybe you can miss the amount of money he's making from the show. <laughs> that adds nothing to the article at all. Plus, we get the added bonus of putting his business out there and making it harder for him to charge more than that in the future. <laughs> so, I think if you're going for word count, that's your move. Caponera said he also picked Burris because he is African-American, which added more diversity to the comedic lineup this semester. He's a black comedian, so it makes our crowd more diverse, and everyone gets what they want, Caponera said. <laughs> everyone gets what they want? That's a weird, broad thing to say. Like, even people that didn't attend the show, hey, did you book Hannibal Burris? Yeah, we booked about you coming to the show. Nah, I'm not coming to the show, but I got what I wanted. <laughs> Because everybody gets what they want when I come to town. Town morale peaks is at an all-time high. Everybody's happy. They go to the local grocery store just juggling items, no intention on buying them, just in the aisles yelling, even food, he's coming to town, y'all. Hell yeah. You think he's gonna do the lattice bit? I don't know, I'm not even going to the show. I'm just happy he's here.